As a kid, I played Kirby's Return to Dreamland and absolutely loved that game. Now, I'm not much of a platformer kind of guy, but the Kirby series, at least that was the only game I had played at the time, was one that I actually really enjoyed. You had the little different powers and abilities, and it didn't require precision timing with the jumps and all that stuff like you have with the Mario games. This one was a little bit more casual and had a little bit more action and was fun. I really, really enjoyed the Kirby series, or at least this game particularly. Because <laughs> again, that is the only game I'd played up until I recently got Kirby's Epic Yarn. I got this from a friend who was, uh, you know, get, wanted to get rid of some of his games and I decided to pick it up and I, cause I, and I wanted, decided to play it because I wanted to see, you know, what's, a, what's another, you know, Kirby game like. And this one actually came out a year before Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Uh, 2010 is when uh, Epic Yarn came out, and then Return to Dreamland came out in 2011. Um, so I decided to play it, and I wanted to talk about what I thought of Kirby's Epic Yarn in 2024, 14 years later. Um, I still have a Wii U, which is uh, how I play um, all my Wii games now. And um, so I decided to break open my Wii U and play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And I have to say, not a huge fan of this game. Um, it's It takes away a lot of the things that I loved about Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Um, I think they, they were trying to do it to, you know, break up the formula a little, little bit. Um, it still ha it's still fun. It still has a lot of the things. And I feel like this game is a lot more for beginners, I would say. Um, so if you're if you're someone who like doesn't do like platforming or anything like that, or or really it, people introducing people into gaming, um, whether it be people who don't who haven't played any games, or whether you have kids who uh, you you still have a Wii or a Wii U, and you want to introduce your kids into gaming and they're really young, this is gonna be actually a great game for them because it still has a lot of those platforming stuff. You know, it's a pretty short game, um, and the consequences are actually extremely minimal for um for you know playing the game because whenever you can't really die in the game um as you like whenever you like run into enemies if they don't have like a weapon uh if you run into them you just bounce right back off of them you don't get injured um if they do have like a weapon or something like that you just lose like coins basically and so you, there's really no failure state, you know, you, there's, the consequences are you, you lose um, beads, which are what you collect in the game. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like you, you can go, you go through the entire game. If you absolutely suck at the game, you can still go through the game pretty easily. Um, it's because there's, there's really no, because it doesn't, there's not really a failure state, you know, there's, there are some bits where you're going to have, like, it's going to be hard to kind of jump through stuff or whatever, or maybe it requires a little bit more platforming skills, but you can get through most of the game. And like, again, there's no failure state at all. Um, there is no point where there's game over. You don't have lives or anything. You don't even have a health bar because again, there is no dying here. Um, like if you get injured, you just lose beads. And when you're out of beads, you're out of beads. That's pretty much it. That's like the entire thing. Um, so for really for beginners, this is gonna be a fantastic game to just kinda get them used to the controls and whatnot. Unfortunately, you don't get to do the classic um, Kirby thing where he, uh, he inflates himself and he, he rises up higher and higher as he sucks in air. And then um, poof, you know, uh, you know, just kills enemies with a with a puff of air. You don't get any of that, uh, especially because he's yarn now. But you do have some interesting things along with that. Um, like when you're speeding across, he turns into a little car. Um, you know, to float down, he is turns into a parachute. Um, he has a whip attack basically with the yarn, um, and they have a lot of different fun mechanics involved in the game. But overall, I think this game was. If, if I had played this as a kid, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more. Um, but in 2024, as an adult, this game was like, eh, didn't really do the Kirby things that I was hoping for. It didn't kind of really do what I was wanting it to do. You know, it was, it's short, 
it's it's kind of fun. It's a little bit entertaining. It's more of a casual game. And, um, you know, it's got a simple staging system. The stages are usually pretty short. You got some detours and whatnot. Um, even the boss battles, they are relatively pretty easy. Um, so this is just kind of a little, a fun little game for um, beginners or kids who want to get into gaming. So um, if, you, if you have a Wii or a Wii U, which it's unlikely for most people nowadays, but um, you know, I think I think this is just a fun little thing to uh, to get into, and uh, maybe even introduce P uh, them into Kirby, and maybe you can get like Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I f I personally really love that game, even as an adult. I love playing through that one. Uh, so, if you guys want to see any more videos like this, reviewing older games, especially even like Wii games, I've got a Wii U and I can uh, play through some older Wii games. Let me know in the comics down in the. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.